Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fowler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for November 5th, 2016. We are entering 48 hours, more a little more than 24 actually, but we'll still feel it uh, in the next 48 hours of turbulent skies. The moon is conjunct Pluto and it's besieged between Pluto and Mars and will still be conjunct Mars later on tomorrow. Other than that, there's going to be a square to Uranus later on and then a square to Aries, which is, um, we'll talk about it in a second, and Mercury is conjunct Lilith. What does it all say in English? It says that these are two days that we need to be extra careful not to go into fights and arguments, not to say things that we will be sorry for later, not to do things that we will be sorry for later, and certainly not to be embroiled in our own emotions. We could be over dramatic during these days. We could make a mountain out of a molehill. We could have less patience than usual. We can become depressed. We can become angry. We could take something small that happened and blow it out of proportions. And what do we need to do to make it through through these days? Well, there's two things. A, adapt an uh, approach that is less emotional and more logical and f um, stand a bit far away from the situation and gaze upon the situation that is happening in your life and try to give yourself some logical advice regarding how you should react and how you should act. And look at the long-term implications of whatever you say or do. Remind yourself of those all the time. Uh, so as I said, the square to Uranus later on, at nighttime in Europe and afternoon in the States. I mean, the, the, the conjunction to Pluto and the besiegement with Mars is going to last all through this day and until tomorrow morning. But tonight is also, uh, tonight in Europe and uh, this afternoon in, in, uh, in the States, there's going to be a square to Uranus, adding less patience than usual. And then a square to Aries. And Aries, if you know in the mythology, is a goddess that says things as they are, even if we don't like to hear them. And, can, and that can create a lot of conflict. That's why people didn't like her. She used to be a goddess that was associated with conflict and fights. So again, we could we could say things that we, we will be sorry for later, and you add to the fact that Mercury, the planet of communication, is still conjunct the Black Moon Lilith, well, you got something volatile there. And of course, this is a sensitive time also with relationships. What's the other way we could transmute those energies? Well, let's say we just entered into a romance that affair could become very steamy during the next 48 hours. The moon conjunct Pluto besieged by Mars. There could be a lot of carnal desires going up in flames. And that could be a great way to transmute that energy and even enjoy yourself this weekend. Even if you didn't just start an affair, take the person you love and give him some tender love and care. So that's an excellent way to bond to provide warmth and love and tenderness and care and, and really change the whole atmosphere. You know, whenever there's a bit of agitation, give your spouse a hug. And if somebody asks, how come you're acting naughty? You say your astrologer advised, <laughs> advised you to act that way this weekend. And on that optimistic note, I want to thank you for listening and I want to remind you that from tomorrow onwards we're moving from daily forecasts to forecast every other day or every week. You'll still get all the astrological information but in neater packages and that's happening not because I don't appreciate your love and your support but because I'm hopefully becoming a father very soon and I need to become more efficient. And I want to thank you again for everything. This is Boaz Feiner. Goodbye.